we are using a lot of artificial intelligence uh, tools, ChatGPT, Copilot, Cloud AI, whatever. So more and more, when you go and ask um, to those tools about yourself and create a picture, this is very typical. Uh, you go to one of those AI platforms and you say, hey, knowing what you know about me, draw me a picture on how my life looks like. And to be really honest, I'm really, really surprised on how well those systems know us, as long as we give them all of the information for sure. But it's very, very curious because what I think it's going to happen is that as we interact with, our, with those systems, those systems are going to start replicating a digital presence of us. It will think like us, it will behave like us, maybe it will strategize like us. This is very interesting. So can you imagine the potential that you have your digital twin trained by you, how you think, how you feel, how you take decisions, and then before you go to sleep, maybe you say, hey, my hyper-personalized digital assistant or artificial capable intelligence, I call it, I have all of those KPIs, I need to prepare all of those things, I need to take some decisions, you know, go and work on it, and I just go to sleep. And when I come back, it's all done. And the decisions taken are the decisions that you yourself would have taken uh, in the same situation. It, you know, the system brings it in front of you, you look at the system and you say, wow, or you correct the system. That is, keep on training the system. Maybe there are some conditions that the system, your artificial capable intelligence, I rather call them artificial capable intelligence machine or engine, um, maybe makes mistakes or doesn't know how to behave under certain uh, circumstances. And it's, you, you, you keep on training that system and it really becomes a digital twin of yourself. Imagine the potential. For sure, there are some uh, very interesting implications in terms of privacy and compliance and everything like that. But as long as you want to give that information to the system, as long as you agree that that system has all of the information to help you, it's, a, it's an infinite potential. You supported and multiplied by millions of neural network connections and all of the servers in the, in, in the cloud working on behalf of you 24 seven, acting as if it's like you. There are many downsides of that as well, right? Can this being start being a potential enemy of yourself and <laughs> act on the contrary, do something on behalf of yourself that might be dangerous for you as well. So these are kind of uh, things that I'm currently researching and investigating, but it's really, really very curious on how those systems precisely start knowing us. Even you are asking those systems, the, those artificial intelligence systems, hey, knowing what you know about me, tell me about my deepest fears. I, I use this prompt. It's amazing. It just tells from all of the interactions, how you interact, what you ask. It really tells you your biggest fears. And then today I use the prompt saying that you knowing everything about me, where do you see me in two years time? Wow. <laughs> fantastic. Really fantastic. So I believe that hyper-personalized, artificial, capable, intelligent bots or whatever you want to call them, I call them co-bots, so co-worker robots. They are going to be massively deployed uh, starting 2025. And that's going to be kind of a revolutionizing all of the concepts of AI as we know today. So I hope that you can just take this concept and maybe do some research and please subscribe, please like, please share the video so that I can reach to more people and get their feedback. And with that, have a great day. Bye bye.